What is going on guys? Hope a great day like always. I know it's been a while since I post, maybe about a week now. I've been working extremely hard, trying to get caught up on things, but I have a free day today. And you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna come out here and try to make a video for y'all. Currently we're at my pond, there's ducks behind me, the bass are spawning, some of the bass. I've already walked around the pond to look around. There's not too many big ones because there's not that many big bass in my pond. But there is one exciting thing that I saw. There is some crappy spawning in my pond right now. Crappy spawn probably about the same exact time as the bass do. This one corner over here, there's probably about five or six crappy. But there is one problem I'll show you guys here in a second. Every single time it gets warm in my pond, this algae grows and it is just insane. I need to put some carp in here. It is just caked up all over. Half these beds I can't even see because of how much moss is in this pond. But we're going to have some fun today, guys. I'm going to try to put the camera underneath the water on those crappy beds. Maybe we can get one to bite. It's going to be hard trying to get this whole entire thing set up. And on top of all the algae. But I have my little ultralight out of here with me today. We're just going to be throwing a little white grub, super light line, a little baby jig. And we're going to try to see if we can catch some crappy. That's the whole goal today. We might try to get some bass. Like I said, if you guys are going to do spawn fishing, if you see bluegill on the bass bed, don't try to catch the fish. If you have a heart for fishing like I do, and those are the genes, those are the babies for the next generation. So you don't want to mess that up. So if I do see a bass today that doesn't have any bluegills on the bed, and he's in a great location. I might try to catch him for y'all, but I'll show you guys the fish super quick and then we're gonna put him right back in the water. I want him to go back to his bed because I want more bass in my pond. So that's the deal today, guys. There might be some, oh my God. These ducks down here like don't care about you. They'll just fly right above your head. But I'm geared up. I'm ready to go, guys. Let's get into this video. Like I said, guys, little baby white grub. If you obviously see my other videos, I always explain this one spot right out in front of me. It goes down to a little slope, maybe to about five to six feet. There's a couple Christmas trees down there. Most of the time when the crappy do bite, they're going to bite here. Some are on the bed, some are off the beds. Really aggressive, hungry to eat. So we're going to cast out there and see if we can make something happen. Get this drag situated. There's one. Feels like a crappy. First cast, guys. Is that a bluegill? <laughs> it is a bluegill. This dude smoked it. Windstorm. <laughs> that just destroyed my thumb. Ow. Mm. That hurt so bad. That cut me. Oh, there's a tongue going on right now. I just caught a fish. My thumb is cut open. I just saved my camera. Ow. Hey, Bluegill. Oh, if I didn't save my camera, that, that would have cracked. I'm standing on nothing but rock right now. Dude, my thumb hurts so bad. It was a pretty fish, though. That is the first fish, guys, on top of everything that just happened. First cast, first pretty little Bluegill. Let's put it back in the water. And there she goes. Why are you doing that? There you go. And she's off. Thumb hurts bad. All right, y'all, that was the first cast. Caught a beautiful little bluegill. Almost lost my camera. My thumb is in so much pain right now. It's already turning black and blue. That wind was, y'all saw the little windstorm. It just came out of nowhere. Flung all my baits off the bench. Crazy first two minutes of fishing, but we caught one. Let's get back out there. Let's hope for no more windstorms. All right, guys, look like we struck out here. As I was walking the banks, there's one bass in this corner. He's not the biggest, maybe about a pound and a half, two pounds. Really didn't get that good of a look at him, but he was bigger than the ones I've been seeing around the pond. We're going to go try to walk back there now, hopefully not spook the bass, see if there's any bluegill around his bed, and if there's not, we're going to go for him, and then we're going to jump back over to the crappy spot. The grass is just so thick down there. I'll, I'll show you guys. Let's go jump back to that bass. All right, y'all, the bass is right in front of me. He's a little bit smaller than what I thought. I said there's not that many big bass in my pond anymore. He's got a great bed, no bluegill, and he seems pretty pretty fired up. So we're gonna go ahead and drop our jig on his bed, see what he thinks about it. All right, y'all, so now actually there's two bass on the bed, the male and the female. You just turn back around, she's looking at it. This bass actually seems super fat and healthy. One thing about bed fishing, guys, every single bass has an inch that they do not like you going near. There's a certain spot where those eggs are at. If you can find that spot, most of the time is when you're gonna get that bass to get super aggressive. And I think I just found hers. Yeah, she does not like it right there. Just coming in. Got her. Come here, baby. That is a fat, healthy bass. Get up here. Oh, this looks like the same exact bass. If y'all didn't see that video, I caught her by the drain. She had two X's drawn on her. I don't see nothing on this fish. It looks just like it. All right, y'all, there's the fish. I don't want to keep her out the water for too long. She's got babies to guard, but that's a beautiful bass. Took me about five minutes to catch this fish. Found the one spot she did not like that grub sitting on, and we got her, so let's put her back in the water. Let's look at this fish. Let's give her a little toss back out of the weeds. There she goes. That's awesome. She swam right back to the bed. That's what I want, guys. I want to be able to catch these fish. I don't have to worry about their babies getting 
eaten by all those bluegill. It's a great mother right there. She was pretty aggressive towards that bait, which is a good sign. And as soon as I took her off the bed, the male went back on it. So they got a good little team going on. What we're gonna do now, guys, I haven't even looked down this bank, so we're gonna see if there's anything that's worth trying to catch. So let's head that way now. All right, y'all, currently the GoPro is sitting on this bass's bed. The bass made it so close to the bank, I said, why not, might as well try to put it out there. But she's super skittish because her bed is so close to the bank. As soon as you walk by, she spooks. And I just had to step close to her bed to put the GoPro there, so. I'm looking at her right now. She's probably about six feet away, so we're gonna give it some time to see if we can make this fish bite. All right, y'all, I'm trying to keep my distance, but she's getting a little bit closer now. I don't know if she's gonna bite, but we're gonna give it a try, so let's cast it out there. Oh, she's right in front of it. I'm stuck on a branch, and I'm trying to move this bait so I can get off of it. She is dialed in. All right, guys, I moved the branch out the way now. Hopefully, it's not in front of the GoPro. I can't really see too well. I think we can catch this fish. Y'all got her. I <laughs> got her. <laughs> That was insane. Oh no, she got off. She got off. I got stuck on her branch and she got away. <laughs> we had that fish though. All right, well y'all got to see that. Let me go grab this GoPro and get it off her bed so she can get back to what she does best. Hope you caught that. All right guys, we're on the move again. Let's go try to find another, maybe a crappy. All right guys, worked our way over to the crappy beds and if y'all can see behind me, a couple days ago, all this grass was not here, but it's taken over this whole entire pond. So I can barely even see the fish and I can't even put a camera on the bed. So we're just gonna try to see if I can work her out the grass so we can make her bite. She's coming towards it. Come on baby, eat it. A little tip for crappy guys to spawn fish in form. Like the way this one's acting right now, it's normally hard to get that fish to commit towards a bait. Same with bass sometimes. A good little tip when you know the fish is about to bite, once you get a crappy to finally commit to the bait and when she pecks at it and spits it out, normally the next time she's gonna commit to the bait. So she's nosing down on her right now. So I got her attention. I'm looking for that little peck in that bite. And hopefully after that, we'll catch this fish. Let's keep on working her. I'm picking to this one crap over here. I'm gonna take y'all along with me. He's actually showing more aggression than the other one. So we're gonna try to work him for a little bit. There he is. Oh, thank you. Get up here, bud. Y'all, that's a giant. That's why I worked that fish for so long. That is a giant crappie. I've been working this fish for a very long time. I was not giving up. Worked for so long, I knew it was a good sized crappie. And looky there. Let's put it back in the water. All right, y'all. There she goes. Hey, baby. All right, y'all. This is a new day. I didn't get to finish up the video from yesterday. I had a blast out there. You guys know my pond. Like I always say, there's not too many big bass in there. And it... It gets upsetting because I wish there really was. Spawn fishing is a great time to go out there for new anglers and all anglers just to go out there and just catch big bass. It's a perfect time to do it. Like I mentioned in this video, if you do see bluegill around the bed, don't try to mess with them. That's why I really didn't try to do too much in my pond yesterday. I actually want those babies to hatch so I can have more bass in my pond and hopefully some bigger ones eventually. If y'all wondering what I was using in that video, those just little white grubs. Just go to Walmart, go to the crappy section. You can buy, I think, 20 of them for 98 cents. I use them things all year long. I mean, they're just, they're great baits. You can use them for nest fishing, crappy fishing, bass, even everything eats those baits. And they're super cheap. White's my favorite color. It stands out really good, especially for spawn fishing, so you can see your bait underneath the water. And white just normally works the best for me. I only got four fish in this video, which, I mean, it's not the best, guys, but fishing is fishing. As long as I'm getting bites, I'm catching fish, and I'm able to make a video for y'all that makes my day. And we got some underwater footage. I hope you guys enjoyed that. In this video, I actually put the camera down on another bass, too. 
but there was so much moss you couldn't even see the fish that's one bad thing about my pond right now i'm gonna try to put some carp in there because it's it's just it's getting worse and worse some carp will eat all that moss and get it out of there a little bit of moss okay but we just have too much right now that's pretty much it guys i have some new videos coming up that i have planned i think you guys are going to enjoy them bond is still occurring right now i might try to get back out there and maybe go hit a better pond that has some bigger bass so i can show you guys some more techniques on how to catch spawning fish like always if y'all don't watch any of these videos just click on one right here leave a comment down below let me know what y'all thought about it i appreciate it guys look back to you.